so the power of plate so the power of plate you transforming your diet for remission is what we're going to talk about today your plate is more than just a collection of food it's a tool that really holds the power to transform your health shape your well-being and even prevent or reverse chronic conditions like what we discussed right now so mana plate lo enta power untundi ante adi mana health ni transform chestundi well-being shape chestundi and even chronic conditions like diabetes hypertension blood pressure uh, uh, pcos cholesterol this all can be reversed even in reverse test coach so the choices you make i mean the choices that we make on every day basis you know a na b na c na d na that decides the that decides the destination right so you want to go to delhi you want to go to bangalore you want to go to chennai you need to decide where do you want to go so where do you want to achieve what do you want to achieve how do you want to achieve is what you need to decide today i see many people go for tomorrow thinking there is no tomorrow thinking do it today there is some kahawat in hindi kal kare so aaj kar aaj kare so ab so in this kahawat is very much applicable to us rep cheyal anukundi ival cheyandi ival cheyal anukundi ippude cheyandi so don't postpone anything so choices that we make each meal can serve as foundation for vitality or conversely contribute to the progression of illness so manam cheskune choices gaani manam cheskune issues gaani so this all matters so how do we get to that point so how do we know that the plate that we the plate that we select or the choices that we make in the plate is going to affect positively to us so that's where expertise people come and teach you about how to make sure that you maintain your plate in certain way and make sure that the the, the choices that you make mano a plate lo em pedukuntnamo adi manam correct ga pettukogaligithe పాజిటివ్ గా మనకి రిజల్ట్ తీసుకొస్తుంది మనం మన వైటల్స్ మన వైటాలిటీ అంటే ఎలా చెప్పచ్చు మనం ఒక ఒక మన హెల్త్ పాజిటివ్ గా అవటానికి ఒక పునాది వేస్తుంది లేదా సరిగ్గా అరేంజ్ చేసుకోలేదా ఆపోజిట్ సైడ్ లో మనకి ఇల్నెస్ క్రియేట్ చేస్తుంది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒక ప్లేట్ లో కొంచెం రైస్ కర్రీ కొంచెం సాలడ్స్ కొంచెం దాల్ కొంచెం కర్డ్ పెట్టుకుని తినాం గుడ్ అదే ప్లేట్ లో కొన్ని చిప్స్ సమోసా పానీపూరి చాట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ జంక్ యూ మధ్యలో ఇఫ్ నాన్ వెజ్ పీపుల్ సమ్ చికెన్ వింగ్స్ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ డీప్ ఫ్రైడ్ సో నేను ఇది తింటే నాకు హెల్ప్ చేస్తుందా నేను ఇది తింటే హెల్ప్ చేస్తుందా సో యూనిట్ చూస్ ఇది జీవితంలో ముట్టుకోవద్దు అని నేను చెప్పట్లే ది మోర్ పాజిటివ్ చాయిసెస్ దట్ యూ మేక్ హ్యాస్ మోర్ పాజిటివ్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆన్ యూ సో ది మోర్ ది మోర్ పాజిటివ్ థింగ్స్ దట్ గోస్ ఇన్ టు యువర్ ప్లేట్ హ్యాస్ మోర్ పాజిటివ్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆన్ యూ ఎగ్రీ ఆర్ నాట్ సో నేను ప్లేట్లో ఎన్ని నెగిటివ్ థింగ్స్ పెట్టుకుంటే నాకు అంత నెగిటివిటీ నేను ప్లేట్లో ఎన్ని పాజిటివ్ థింగ్స్ పెట్టుకుంటే నాకు అంత పాజిటివిటీ దాట్ మచ్ పాజిటివిటీ దట్ ఐ గెట్ సో పాయింట్ ఈస్ whether i need to make sure whether i need to put positive things or a combination of positive and negative or completely negative so we need to decide that see body is a very complex machine and like any machine it needs the right fuel to function at its best 
for example in in a diesel car if you put petrol what happens or in a petrol car if you diesel what happens petrol to nadiche car lo diesel esthe em avutundi diesel to velle car lo petrol esthe em avutundi it is gone your engine is gone so our body is like machine so you need to fill up with nutrients like vitamins minerals proteins healthy fats fiber to support energy you have to you have to make sure that you are doing that unless and until you start doing this or start understanding the basic concepts of what needs to go into plate you can't go forward so man ఏం పెట్టుకోవాలని తెలియకపోతే కనుక మనం అసలు ఏం చేయాలన్నా తెలియదు అసలు నా ప్లేట్లోకి ఏం ఉండాలి అసలు నేను ఏం తినాలి నా బాడీకి ఏంటి అవసరం యాజ్ ఏ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ వాట్ షుడ్ ఐ బీ ఈటింగ్ వాట్ షుడ్ ఐ బీ ఈటింగ్ మోర్ లెట్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ హ్యావ్ అ ల్యాప్టాప్ యూ నో వెల్ వాట్ ఎక్సెసరీస్ యూ నీడ్ ఫర్ దట్ యూ నో హౌ టు స్విచ్ ఇట్ ఆన్ యూ నో హౌ టు స్విచ్ ఇట్ ఆఫ్ యూ నో హౌ టు మేక్ సర్టెన్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్స్ డౌన్లోడెడ్ అండ్ ఇన్స్టాల్ ఇన్ యువర్ ల్యాప్టాప్స్ తెలిస్తే కదా ఇవన్నీ మీ ల్యాప్టాప్లోకి ఎలాంటి సాఫ్ట్వేర్స్ ఇన్స్టాల్ చేయాలి లేకపోతే మొబైల్లోకి ఎలాంటి యాప్స్ పెట్టుకోవాలి యూ ఆల్ నో దాట్ ఒక చిన్న మెషిన్కే మనం అంత కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ చేసి అంత డెడికేషన్ ఇచ్చి మనం అంత టైం స్పెండ్ చేసినప్పుడు యూ షుడ్ స్పెండ్ సమ్ టైమ్ ఇన్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ యువర్ బాడీస్ లాంగ్వేజ్ నా బాడీకి నా నా హీలింగ్ టూల్ ఏంటి నా ఫుడ్డే నా హీలింగ్ టూల్ నాకు ఎలాంటి ఇష్యూ వచ్చినా ఫుడ్తో నేను దాన్ని బాగు చేసుకోవచ్చు i can treat anything with my food if i become sick this is what you need to understand so healing from within is very important healing from within is very important lopala ninchi manam heal avali baita ninchi kaad manaku oka acne vachindi ante we start applying we start seeing lot of creams and all yes you apply it that's a topical treatment but internally ga manam em ivachu so that next time ad repeat avukunda untundi so that next time ఎక్కువగా కాకుండా ఉంటుంది సో దట్ డజన్ ఇంక్రీజ్ ఇన్ సైజెస్ ఇంక్రీజ్ ఇన్ నంబర్స్ ఏం చేయాలి సో వెల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ న్యూట్రియన్ డెన్స్ డైట్ విల్ డెఫినెట్లీ హెల్ప్ యూ మేనేజ్ ఈవెన్ రివర్స్ కండిషన్స్ దట్ వి స్పోక్ అబౌట్ ఎనీ డైజెస్టివ్ ఇష్యూస్ హార్ట్ డిసీజెస్ సో హార్ట్ హార్ట్ ఇష్యూస్ ఏమైనా ఉన్నా కొలెస్ట్రాల్స్ ట్రైగ్లిస్ రైట్స్ డైజెషన్ ఇష్యూస్ అసిడిటీ గ్యాస్ట్రిక్ ఇష్యూస్ అల్సర్స్ యూ కెన్ ఆల్ ట్రీట్ దిస్ గైస్ విత్ సింపుల్ management of your food in your plate this all could be done like how do you it is that you know uh, foods rich in antioxidants so these all things will definitely help you at some point of time and get you to a place where you don't need to much much worry about it so for people with diabetes what how does the plate helps so first point it helps in blood sugar management agree or not it helps in blood sugar management it helps in weight management it helps in insulin sensitivity it in, it helps in reducing inflammation it helps in heart health it helps in gut health meal timing and frequency so individualized approach is very important balanced nutrition anti inflammatory choices portion controls low glycemic index foods gut health hydration and detoxification sustainability these points are very important on a day to day life you make sure you do that unless and until you you make sure of it there is nothing that we can do your plate holds incredible power not just for nourishment but also for but also it acts like a tool to transform your health it it is a tool to transform everything by carefully choosing what's right by carefully choosing the right foods you can guide your body towards healing remission everything what not so so your 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 plate is what you need to take care about me plate me me jartal tisukovalsindi me plate lo ganaka jartu tisukopothe ne estrogen pettesukunta ne estrogen tinestanu ante that leads towards sickness illness manchu pettukunte positive eating teeskuntundi manchu pettukopothe negative side teeskuntundi agree so nutrition plays a very key role in managing blood sugar levels 
by choosing foods that have low glycemic index and are high in fiber such as fruits vegetables whole grains legumes what not these things can help stabilize your blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of spikes and crashes so meer played ganaka sariga arrange cheskunte so chaala mandi cgms pettukunnaru many people have applied cgms on their hand so in that they got to know what gave spikes what gave crashes agree so you saw all those graphs chaala mandi indlo cgms pettunaru kada andlo graph vachindi kada so you saw how it is affecting your health so plate log chinna chinna management cheskunte avi malli normal avutunnai ప్లేట్ లో ఒక రోజు నేను భారీగా నేను ఏదైనా తిన్న రోజు స్పైక్స్ స్పైక్స్ పెళ్ళిపోతున్నాయి సో స్పైక్స్ నేను ఎలా కంట్రోల్ చేసుకోవాలి క్రాషెస్ నేను ఎలా కంట్రోల్ చేసుకోవాలి ఇస్ వాట్ యూ నీడ్ టు నో సో దాట్స్ వేర్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ ప్లేట్ కమ్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఎల్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూస్ ఫర్ వెయిట్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఇఫ్ యువర్ మీల్ ప్లానింగ్ ఇస్ ప్రాపర్ ఇట్ కెన్ ఎయిడ్ ఇన్ వెయిట్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ విచ్ ఇస్ క్రూషియల్ ఇన్ రివర్సింగ్ డయాబెటీస్ ఎస్పెషలీ టైప్ టు డయాబెటీస్ it helps in reversing obesity it helps in reversing pcos it helps in reversing hypertension it helps in reversing sometimes for a few people it is thyroid also we 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 can't say for everyone because there are certain factors that affect thyroid as well uh, that's the reason sometimes we check tpo antibodies if they are positive yes if lifelong they mean they might need to be on medication there is a need for them so consuming a balanced diet that includes appropriate portion portion sizes and nutrient dense foods ante if whatever you eat meer em tinna dantlo poushtik aharalu kaligi unna foods ni ganaka tinna galigithe calorie intake ni manam koncham conscious pettukogaligithe weight loss ki ledha weight management ki help chestundi it aids weight management it aids your calorie intake control in calorie intake it promotes your weight loss what else does it do so how many of you know about insulin sensitivity can anyone speak about it what is insulin sensitivity what's insulin sensitivity can someone unmute and speak about it yeah so insulin spike of as soon as we had a food yeah who is speaking it out the srikant hey srikant yeah yeah tell me so what what do you mean by insulin sensitivity so, like um the sensitivity is like normally if you have a food after having a food so there are some foods which will rise or insulin level mm-hmm. based on the criteria for example uh, if you had a like uh, i'm full hungry mm-hmm. so as soon as i'm full hungry so that i can have a, a bowl of food so before that if i am full full hungry then if i have a small sweet or a sweet or some 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 sweet proper sweet you have one sweet then the in, insulin will be raised at a time it will go up and with the, like it, it will go up in a very high level then so you're telling you're telling the process yes, what happens yes. with insulin sensitivity i want the definition okay. of insulin sensitivity sensitivity is like the, the foods which will uh, re, which will have our insulin balance so i can tell mm-hmm. uh, like um, uh, the process of uh, how i can tell okay don't worry so I'll, I'll, I'll for example it. for example if you have a if in a bowl if you have a, some sort of fiber include in your bowl okay then your right. ins- insulin sensitivity will be reduced means mm-hmm. like the insulin uh, like the sugar or the what do you call um, the rising of the insulin will be slow that's what i can tell so okay so i'll put I, yeah i'll put it in uh, a very simple fewer easy words so it refers to how effectively your body cells respond to insulin okay yeah okay so this is an hormone produced by pancreas which is called insulin 
that helps to regulate our blood sugar levels. So when cells are highly sensitive, highly sensitive to insulin, they can easily absorb glucose from the blood. Okay. So in blood, there are cells flowing. Glucose came into the blood. Insulin also came into the blood. When cells are very sensitive, they can easily absorb the insulin. So they can easily absorb the glucose into them. Yes. Then the blood sugar levels will be stable. See, the opposite side is insulin resistance. When cells are less responsive to insulin, leading to higher blood sugar levels. That leads to higher blood sugar levels. So that's the other side of it. If, if it is sensitive, these cells absorb glucose. If it is resistance, the cells doesn't absorb glucose. Simple. See, nor, see uh, how insulin sensitivity works. Asla is insulin sensitivity and yala punches. After we eat, your body breaks down, our body breaks down carbs into glucose. Man body, carbohydrates, suppose annam thinna on point, simple. You, you ate rice, rice thinna. So rice are carbohydrates. Glucose kind of form out in the body. Lo. E glucose, bloodstream low ki enter out in the. So bloodstream low gochin went in a pancreas angels and the insulin produces. So as soon as the, the, the glucose enters into the blood, the pancreas releases insulin, which acts like a key. So it unlocks the door. It's, it unlocks the door of the cells so that glucose can enter into it for storage. So if there is no storage, our blood is flooded with glucose. Storage is going to be So if there is no storage at your home, your house looks messy. When you look at the cupboards, House and the messy can be seen. On a extra storage is put. So your 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 cupboards are like storage places. Similarly, cells are like storage spaces. Glucose should come and enter into it, and then lock. Also, when I put this kind of work, kuntam. Because cupboard lunchy. Also, when bottle this kind of work, kuntam. Also, when what's this work, kuntam. Grocery savachu, bottle savachu, utensils savachu, whatever it is. So similarly, cells need to store them. For future purpose. So this is what is this process is itself is called as insulin sensitivity. Uh, grab chase kodam, store chase kodam is what is insulin sensitivity. So people who are having good insulin sensitivity, this process occurs very efficiently. So reduced sensitivity insulin resistance is what we are talking about. For them, what happens? Cells will not be much responsive so when you call when you call to certain customer care when they are unresponsive you you feel irritated similarly body also feel irritated when there is resistance when body low resistance in the cells the resistance we also feel body also feels the same way then pancreas will further work more to compensate Inka extra ka produce just something. The end, the end, the pump is not going to punch it. The end, inka pump is, inka pump is, inka pump is. That's where you start developing insulin resistance, and more insulin production leads to putting you on weight. So carbohydrates equal to pay. So to compen, to control those carbohydrates, your body produces extra insulin. Over time, it leads to high blood sugar levels, eventually progressing to pre-diabetes or diabetes type two diabetes. So eventually, pre-diabetes is type 2 diabetes. Gaani, chest. So this is very important point, guys. Insulin sense to know about insulin sensitivity is very important. How it is working with me, how it is working inside my body. Because insulin resistance is not only responsible for type 2 diabetes, it is responsible for many issues. For women, it is responsible for PCOS, for, for weight gain, for fertility issues, for men also fertility issues, genitourinal issues. A lot of sexual health issues also happens because of insulin resistance. So there are a lot of ways that gets affected because insulin resistance is the mother of cause of all the problems. You name them, I'll tell them. Hypotension, diabetes, hypercholesterolemia, uh, PCOS, infertility issues, sexual health issues. What not? You name them that is re related to any hormone functions in your body. 
it is responsible. Insulin resistance is what is responsible. So that's the reason you need to treat insulin resistance as soon as possible. If you think like, baad mein dekhenge yaar, kya insulin resistance hi hai na? Oh, that's, they just need to lose four to five kilos. What's the big deal? Next year I can lose. By the next year, your body might have developed resistance into four times, into six times, into ten times. You don't know what exactly is happening. So many people, we have seen many people delaying it and then dragging it over to from pre-diabetes to diabetes. Let's say for example, you're in pre-diabetic stage. Ah, yeah, they can yeah. Let it be increased, then we'll see. I'm taking one tablet, no metformin, it should be fine. So taking just metformin will not give you sufficient amount of insulin sensitivity. Okay, metformin tablet is no tablet is no sarpod. Because you're delay, you're not delaying it. You are aggravating it. Because the sooner that you treat your insulin resistance, the better that your body gets better. And the sooner the insulin sensitivity starts getting better. So insulin resistance is the fast treat the insulin sensitivity and the baga fast increase out. If you delay it, then it be it is becoming a hell lot of noise inside your body. It's like a ripple pattern. So chinna ripple start a the ripple can start out. River loka chinna stone is the ripples as they round 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 ripples as they so chinna ripple start out in the lab at the day put so a ripple effect and so that ripple effect will be there inside our body so you need to make sure you address your insulin resistance as soon as possible don't delay it anything right next so point is Certain foods and nutrients have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, which is helpful in many ways. So that's the reason blood sugar management is very important. Weight management is very important. Especially foods which are rich in omega-3 fatty acids helps to increase insulin sensitivity. Omega-3 fatty acids foods ekku this kunte ganaka. Mana mana plate lo ganaka omega-3 fatty acids rich foods. For example, walnuts, flax seeds, okay, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. These all have omega-3 fatty acids. For non-vegetarian people, fish has got any fatty fish has got good amount of omega-3 fatty acids. And magnesium is very much responsible for insulin sensitivity. Magnesium is mostly found in major of leafy vegetables, nuts and seeds. This enhances the insulin sensitivity. My body loan insulin sensitivity enhances the insulin So green leafy vegetables is very important. So people who are on smoothies, the green smoothie that I suggest is the main reason for developing good amount of magnesium inside your body. So, I smoothie that smoothie, there is some point to make sure that we feed some magnesium inside your body, that we feed certain amount of omega-3 fatty acids inside your body, which helps in maintaining that insulin sensitivity and gets to a better place of your better sugar levels thereby reducing the burden of medications. So insulin resistance tagite, insulin sensitivity is perigutundi, insulin sensitivity perite ganaka, sugar levels baga control locostai, sugar levels control locoste, medications reduce out. So green leafy vegetables have good amount of magnesium. So keep it in mind. Next, we have to reduce the inflammation. Chronic inflammation is always associated with insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. So what is this chronic inflammation? Can someone answer what is chronic inflammation? What is this inflammation? Can someone answer? They can unmute. 
please guys let it let us make this so interactive is just not me blabbering all the time you you people can involve in the discussion and make it much more uh interactive is what i meant to say okay i'll tell you, what is chronic inflammation as like chronic infl as inflammation ante enti chronic inflammation ante enti see we have cells inside our body right chronic inflammation means our body's immunity response for years like you know um, what to say for example oka chinna dabba tagilindi we got some bruise okay uh, there is some redness swelling pain bite kanipistundi so chronic inflammation ante ee naaku dabba tagilite naaku vaachutundi that is general inflammation okay we call it as uh, acute inflammation general inflammation normal inflammation when body if your body gets some hurt it hits the table there might be certain bump if your head hits table there will be some bump or it hits some door there is some bump that's an reaction of body which creates inflammation so whenever that does happen this is an immunity response towards that towards that injury that's the inflammation but chronic inflammation they don't need to be anything that is happening i mean they don't don't need to be a physical blow or something like that it happens like that so that's an immune response in the body general immune response naturally it happens so when the immune system stays activated even when there is no immediate threat over time this leads to lot of damage in the tissues and organs so so why that happens why that chronic inflammation happens enduku jarugutundi mana body ki dabba tagilinappudu vaapu vaapu raavadamo lekapothe oka chinna bruise raavadam common but yen nenu em kottakundane lopala vaachind ankonde enduku vaastund adi reason enti చాలా రీజన్స్ ఉంటాయి చెప్పాలి రీజన్స్ ఈజీ రీజన్స్ చెప్పిన ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఇస్ అన్హెల్దీ డైట్ ఎక్కువ షుగర్స్ తినడము ఎక్కువ ప్రాసెస్ ఫుడ్స్ తినడము ఎక్కువ అన్హెల్దీ ఫ్యాట్స్ తినడము ఫైబర్ లేని ఫుడ్ తినడము ఇవన్నీ ఆ లోపల ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్కి దారి తీస్తుంది దిస్ ఆల్ క్రియేట్స్ దట్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ దిస్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్ గైస్ యూ షుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ క్రానిక్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ బికాస్ ద డైట్ దట్ యూ ఈట్ ద ద ఫుడ్ దట్ యూ ఈట్ if that contains harmful things inside your body this inflammation happens and in long term it creates ruckus inside the body it contributes to range of chronic diseases diabetes hypertension sometimes cancers happens because of unhealthy diet how many of you agree unhealthy diet is the major thing that causes cancer majorly not for some people it is something different but major issue is the food that we eat leads to cancerous cells how many of you agree how many of you agree how many of you uh, ex- ex- uh, how many of you have seen it in your friends or family people you might have seen it right right that's what happens so this is a very serious issues right we have to make sure that it is taken care of it is taken care of so what are the causes unhealthy diet obesity chronic stress environmental toxins infections lack of physical activity this all leads to this all leads to chronic inflammation poor immune function increases the risk of inflammation ఇమ్యూనిటీ కానీ ఇమ్యూనిటీ ఇమ్యూన్ ఫంక్షన్ కనుక తగ్గిపోతే ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ రిస్క్ పెరిగిపోతుంది ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ వచ్చేస్తాయి హీల్ అవ్వలేని ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ వస్తాయి ఆటో ఇమ్యూన్ డిసీజెస్ వస్తాయి అంటే ఏం చేయకుండానే చిన్న చిన్న ఇష్యూస్ వచ్చేస్తుంటాయి బికాస్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ కూడా అలానే వచ్చింది ఏం చేయకుండానే వచ్చింది 
so exposure to pollutants so exposure to pollutants chemicals smoke smoking these also trigger inflammation so that's the reason we ask people to stop smoking as as soon as possible so there has been one patient who smokes two packs a day we gave a lot of counseling we gave a lot of inputs he has been on a lot of medications inhibiting medications still he was not going he was not getting out of smoking his type 2 diabetes progressed it led to many infections in the body it led to cellulitis inside the leg where doctor needed to scrape off his skin of leg like a potato peel athane kaalu potato peel chesinatuga cheyalsi vachindi so why do we give examples because we have seen it we don't want you people to suffer with it we always want you to be in a very better position better better health fact health quotient oka manchi health quotient lo undalane mem anukuntam so they don't rape chuddam ellun chuddam no tomorrow thinking today 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 is the day there is no tomorrow how many of you guarantee for tomorrow today is the day you set right it out and there is a hope for tomorrow if you don't set right it today there is no hope for tomorrow so where does hope comes from hope comes from only today's doings not tomorrow's wantings today's doings are very important than tomorrow's wantings right so so this chronic inflammation and things are a very serious issue guys you need to because it is associated with insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes as i said so that's the reason we have to make sure that we that the plate has rich anti inflammatory foods such as fruits vegetables nuts seeds fatty fish um omega 3 fatty acids mufas and bufas fatty oils good fat oils this can help reduce the inflammation levels in the body and improve the metabolic health okay so mana mana diet lo ganaka ee anti inflammatory foods evaithe fruits vegetables nuts seeds um uh, manchi oils unna uh, fatty fish like dam fishes antam dam lo dorukthai uh, sea fishes river fish these are all good good catch fresh caught see so, vanni body lo inflammation levels ni taggistayi and mana metabolic health ni improve chestayi clear all same page okay now let's take a small break not this is not a break guys this is a small exercise that we always do okay you know the drill okay keep your spine straight keep your spine straight lift up your head a little bit up chin i mean your chin just need to be a little bit up don't be like flat just a little bit up all settle up done you need to close your eyes and do a breathing exercise this is just to make sure that you relieve of your stress okay so close your eyes guys chin little up just try to relax take a deep breath but don't make noise take a deep breath hold it slowly release it out so when you're releasing it out from the body your tummy should go inside when you're inhaling your tummy should come outside again deep breath you start feeling full of tummy now hold it when you hold it your body's carbon dioxide starts coming into the blood and from blood your carbon dioxide starts coming into 
starts coming out of it and then it starts coming out through your nostrils. Do it one more time, guys. Do it one more time. Just one more time. Hold it. Hold it. Slowly release it out. Now rub your palms. Rub your palms. Rub your palms 10 times. Put it on your eyes. You feel a little warmth on your face. You will feel a little warmth on your eyes. You, st you start seeing a lot of stars, dots, certain images. That's when you start feeling relaxed. Again, rub your hands. Rub your hands. Place it on your eyes. Again, three times. Third time. Now slowly open your eyes. See up, then slowly open your eyes. Right? Okay. So I hope everyone did this exercise. Everyone of you, how many of you felt relaxed? How many of you felt relaxed? How many of you felt your stress has gone out? Okay, good. Most of you have raised their hands, so that's a positive thing. Good. Right. So now let's let's make this more interactive, guys. We have another um, fifteen minutes to twenty minutes. So let's speak some more few uh, important points. So this, so the power of plate is what we are discussing, right? So how does that plate that we put food and that we eat is going to make a positive change inside in, in our life is what we're discussing about. So individuals with diabetes are at increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. So maintaining your heart health is very important. Nutrition and meal planning display a very crucial role in promoting your heart health by incorporating heart friendly fats. What are heart healthy friendly fats? Mono unsaturated fats, poly unsaturated fats are those which help us in promoting heart health. So what is this MUFA and PUFA? So it's Vinnam is MUFA so PUFA so memo. We also see the behind of the labels, MUFAs and PUFAs. Nutritional label information low when called Rasmutundi. What is this exactly? These are two types of healthy fats, which are essential for maintaining good health. Right? Irendu, rendu rakalaina healthy fats. Mana health maintain chai dan ki upe bade. So, e, e fats mana ki chala health benefits in create chest. So, mana thies kune balanced diet lo e fats chala positive role undunde. So, mana chala unhealthy fats thies kundam gada deep fried foods thies kunapuru. We eat lot of junks and take lot of bad fats, trans fats, saturated fats. Mono unsaturated fats are single. They have one unsaturated carbon bond in their structure. So these fats are formed by, see this is C, this is C. So there is only one link. C to C there is only one link. Okay. So it is very easy to break down. So these fats are healthier. 
they are liquids at room temperature but start to solidify when cooled so what are they so give me some examples of uh, mufas can anyone room temperature they stay uh, hello are we there room temperature they stay liquid but start to solidify when cooled what are they coconut oil ghee yeah olive oils coconut oil yeah ghee yeah yeah these are the soft foods yes avocados nuts these are all rich in mufas seeds flax seeds pumpkin seeds these are good sorts of mufas okay so the common sources of mufas are olive oil avocados nuts seeds canola oil these are all good examples of that so how do so what are the health benefits why am i why why do i need to know about this mufas why are we discussing about it asal din wal enti nak telusukovalsina avasaram em undi because heart health blood sugar control anti inflammatory properties weight management kosam weight anniti kosam help chestayi these mufas help restore your heart health restore your blood sugar control they are anti they have anti inflammatory properties they also help in weight management so mufas help lower bad cholesterol ldl we see ldl and hdl in your lipid profile while maintaining or even increasing good cholesterol levels so these mufas lower the bad cholesterol levels or maintain the blood bad cholesterol levels and they increase the good cholesterol levels so eating more good fats is very important than concentrating on reducing bad fats manam em chestamo what do we do are yaar mera fat zyada ho raha hai to isko kam kam karne ke liye main garlic khaunga i need more garlic i'll i'll take some xyz portions na na de do ka drink unda anta teesukunte mottham bad cholesterol mottham teesestundi anta okay agree to some extent but if you don't concentrating if you don't concentrate in eating positive fats like good health good fats then bad fats won't decrease you have to concentrate more on eating good fats then automatically bad fats will come down so if you would like to decrease the ldl you have to start eating more hdl what the point right so these fats can improve insulin sensitivity we spoke about insulin sensitivity or not right so these fats are an add on for insulin sensitivity this helps manage blood sugar levels very effectively like on to the point it reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes you start eating good amount so that's the reason i ask you to start your day guys with soaked almonds and walnuts did i ask you or not to start your day with soaked almonds and walnuts first thing that you do is chair surya namaskara then you start having couple of uh, at least a handful of soaked almonds and walnuts drink two glasses of lukewarm water then go for a walk come back freshen up make sure your breakfast lunch and dinner involves these fats slowly you start seeing your body has got this anti inflammatory properties your small things that your small small issues inside your body starts healing up acidity gastric issue starts going away your your weight starts slowly getting better so this is what you need to concentrate about guys this is the this is what we need so in weight management include including mufas in a diet definitely helps in weight management and fat distribution particularly by reducing your belly fat belly fat is what is the need of the hour because that is what the main responsible the visceral fat the waist circumference the central obesity is main responsible for everything potta chuttu lo unde potta chuttu kalthu lo unde fat edaithe untundo 
బెల్లీ ఫ్యాట్ ఏదైతే అంటామో అది కరిగించడానికి ఈ మ్యూఫాజ్ ఉపయోగపడతాయి సో వీటికి యాంటీ ఇన్ఫ్లమేటరీ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఉంటాయి అదే క్రానిక్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ ని రెడ్యూస్ చేస్తుంది బ్లడ్ షుగర్ లెవెల్స్ ని కంట్రోల్ చేస్తుంది ఇన్సులిన్ సెన్సిటివిటీ ని పెంచి బ్లడ్ షుగర్ లెవెల్స్ ని రెడ్యూస్ చేసి టైప్ టూ డయాబెటీస్ రాకుండా కాపాడుతుంది ప్రీ డయాబెటీస్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు కానీ లేకపోతే పీసీవైస్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు కానీ ఓవర్ వెయిట్ ఉండి వెయిట్ రెడ్యూస్ అవ్వాలనుకున్న వాళ్ళు కానీ ఒబేసిటీ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు కానీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ ఆన్ దిస్ ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ పాలీ అన్సాచురేటెడ్ ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ దే హ్యావ్ మోర్ దెన్ వన్ అన్సాచురేటెడ్ కార్బన్ బాండ్ సో ఒక సింగిల్ లైన్ దానిపైన ఇంకొక లైన్ దాన్ని ఇంకొక లైన్ దాని ఇంకొక లైన్ సో ఇలాగ ఫామ్ అయిన ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ ని మన పాలీ అన్సాచురేటెడ్ ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ అంటాం సో ఇవి బోత్ రూమ్ టెంపరేచర్ లోను లేకపోతే దాన్ని చల్లగా ఉన్నప్పుడు కానీ బోత్ అట్ రూమ్ టెంపరేచర్ అండ్ వెన్ దేఆర్ చిల్ దేఆర్ లిక్విడ్ అట్ బోత్ ద టైమ్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ మీనింగ్ ది బాడీ కెనాట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ మన బాడీ ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయలేదు అండ్ మస్ట్ ఒప్టైన్ త్రూ ద డైట్ ఓన్లీ సో ఇట్ కెన్ బి ఒప్టైన్ ఓన్లీ త్రూ ద డైట్ సో వే డూ వీ గెట్ దిస్ వాట్ ఆర్ దే దెర్ ఆర్ టూ ఒమేగా త్రీ ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ ఒమేగా సిక్స్ ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ ఒమేగా త్రీ ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ వీ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్ వేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫౌండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ ఫిష్ ఫ్లాక్ సీడ్స్ వాల్నట్స్ దిస్ ఆర్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఫర్ హార్ట్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ హార్ట్ it is also essential for the brain for the brain function for the heart function so if you if you for example if you don't want to get hurt mentally or in your heart you should have more omega 3 fatty acids dil pe nahi lagna hai to beje pe nahi lagna hai to omega 3 fatty acids ko zyada khao so nothing will affect so you'll be fine similar thing omega 6 fatty acids these are found in vegetable oils like nut oil these fats are also essential but need to be balanced with omega 3 fatty acids to prevent inflammation so they need to be balanced what is the benefit of pufas e omega 6 fatty acids vegetable oils to chustamu nuts lo chustamu ivi chaala essential man body ki but balance chestu undalu omega 3 vat tho paatu బ్యాలెన్స్ చేసుకుంటూ ఉండాలి దేనికి ఉపయోగపడతాయి కార్డియో వాస్కులర్ హెల్త్ పర్టికులర్లీ ఒమేగా త్రీ ఫ్యాటీ యాసిడ్స్ రెడ్యూస్ ద రిస్క్ ఆఫ్ హార్ట్ డిసీజెస్ బై లోవరింగ్ ట్రైగ్లిజరాయిడ్స్ ట్రైగ్లిజరైడ్స్ చాలా మంది కంప్లైంట్ చేస్తారు సార్ మై ట్రైగ్లిజరైడ్స్ ఆర్ అరౌండ్ సిక్స్ హండ్రెడ్ టూ థౌజండ్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఓకే ఎస్ ఇట్ గోస్ టు త్రీ థౌజండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డెల్త్ మెనీ కేసెస్ 2900 is what i have dealt with within 15 days we have reduced triglycerides from 2900 to 290 it has happened we have put that patient on a very strict diet because triglycerides going to 2900 is not good for 15 days after that we have put him on a very balanced diet but those 15 days we need to work without medication getting triglycerides from 2900 to 290 is not a joke only with diet so the patient has to be very patient has to be consistent focused balanced meals timely meals reducing stress so this there are a lot of things that helps reduce triglycerides it reduces the blood pressure as well it also prevents from clot formations so arteries starts forming clots so this uh the formation of clots leads to strokes so arteries lo eppudaithe clots form avutayo strokes ki daari isthayi so uh when when people go undergo through angiogram angiogram they see how much arteries are uh, corroded with clots so any clots unna chustaru how many clots so it reduces that brain we we spoke about brain 
so brain function brain development cognitive function particularly in early life during a, you know during uh, uh, the the child growth when when they were born when they were they are born like when they reach 2 years 3 years feeding them fats is very important many people stop giving them the egg whites uh, sorry egg yellows yolks you have to feed them with egg yellows than egg whites protein they'll get from milk some other way they'll get protein that's not a big deal but giving them these fats is very important so don't bother about uh, giving them the egg yolks you have to give the egg yolks it has omega 3 fatty acids it is a good cholesterol joint health your your many people have frozen shoulders they can't lift their hand they can go only till del or till this they can't raise their hands like this this is called frozen shoulder especially omega 3s can reduce inflammation which helps in conditions like arthritis joint pain stiffness some people get this neck stiffness they can't uh, see this way this way they have to move their entire body so that for them it is very much useful cholesterol regulation ldl cholesterol levels it reduces the ldl cholesterol levels where do you find this pufas all the fatty fish walnuts chia seeds flax seeds sunflower seeds safflower seeds soybean oils nuts and seeds this all have mufas and pufas so both mufas and pufas are beneficial when consumed in moderation okay this is very important guys so id manchidu kada an cheppesi oh polo polo man roju tine kodu ekkuga balance ga tinali you should have it in a very balanced way so nee manchide kani ekkuga tinoddu rendu spoon vadu moodu spoon lesko nalugo spoon lesko 10 spoon lesko you put 2 teaspoons of ghee to 4 4 teaspoons of ghee but not 10 teaspoons of ghee they should replace the unhealthy fats such as trans fats found in processed foods generally fried foods and all so these are all fats bad fats are found in fatty meats that's the reason when now you cook chicken you have to make sure that you pre cook boil it in the pressure cooker for one whistle throw away the water and then cook it accordingly chicken gaani lamb gaani cook cheskuna appudu water lo pressure cooker lo oka one whistle raavali chicken ga ite mutton ga ite lamb gaani ga ite two to three whistles vachin tarata water ni teesi padeseyandi don't use that water it is not good you might feel that it adds sir if if we remove that there is no taste in making chicken and mutton afterwards we will forget about taste then we will only eat the raw Uh, the bland food and you know no salt no pepper chicken which is which, is it good or from starting itself you make sure that you are not consuming that is good agree taste ta- see flavoring tasting comes from fat agree but if you give good fat the taste doubles up if you give bad fat the taste that taste is different so balancing between mufas and pufas and other fats is very important okay guys so this is part 1 next week we'll speak about part 2 okay i don't want to take much time of your today guys guys because after this there is a session of uh, uh, i think physio physio session so let's start doubt sessions query sessions any doubts please yeah i have a question please so so like normally uh, we have a for example if you have to if you take a sweet corn okay normally as part of diet we'll have it right so mm-hmm. we have a frozen thing which is available yes sometimes and uh, same applies to peas peas is only seasonal okay so but in frozen and many ways they'll come back so what is the best way to handle those type of foods okay and uh, yeah th- those things i need some advice so well, for example for a frozen peas okay, sweet corn is available 365 days okay so for example apples 
so now apple is 365 days and mangoes also we are getting now since it's uh, october we are getting raw mango also mm -hmm. so what do you suggest sir we can you we can eat those things or how how does uh, to overcome that any steps to be taken care so history so your question is in short can we have frozen vegetables or not correct so yeah which we normally we get it from the supermarket yeah, yeah. yeah. The, those things yeah anyone would like to answer this question i have already spoke about this in our previous sessions but i want someone who have attended previous sessions to answer this question that would be better guys you need to start answering questions yeah You're i think we can uh, we should use uh, frozen because it has a less storage time i think yeah yeah it has a less storage time usually we give, uh, whatever we get in market that is stored for months and then it is sell mm -hmm. i think that is the only reason <laughs> okay so so how does that happen so what i have heard is uh, the the frozen peas are more healthier than the ones which we buy from the market and uh, why 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 his question because is because the right. yeah because the their the nutrition in the uh, frozen peas is uh, because they are like once they are harvested they Uh, take out the peas and immediately close them. So the nutrition in that one have uh, been retained more than the ones which are uh, which are lost by due to the transportation and other yes. things which happen. Yes. So, Srikant, you you got your doubt cleared? Yes. Yes. Thank you. so i'll i'll put i'll cut short it and tell you in single word single sentence so frozen vegetables they are prepared as soon as they are gotten from the farm so the time from farm to fork is less so the vegetables that we get in the market if you think if you know that it is straight away from farm to the uh, market that it is fine the the nutrition is maintained and the nutrition is not lost if it is kept in storage for some time if it is kept in given for distributors for a lot of time and if it is sent from one place to another place so it's already been a week by the time that it comes to your hand so in this process due process the nutrition is lost so don't worry about taking frozen vegetables it is a very nutritious vegetable yeah. okay thank you right Hi Gautam, shall we? Yeah, hi, hi, hi. Please, please. I I have a doubt with respect to uh, you know the fruits like uh, specifically uh, for banana. Uh, mm -hmm. So as a diabetic, if anybody you know they say that banana is not good for the diabetics and uh, maybe you know how is it? I mean, is it a myth or what? What is it? I mean. so it's really a myth banana has good sort of potassium in it um what banana like what banana varieties have you eaten i think the normal uh, fruit kind of banana it's not the uh, vegetable banana right is a fruit yeah it has good it has good sodium it has good potassium it has got vitamin c it has got magnesium it has got vitamin b6 that that so these things are there in banana so do you think it is not healthy for us no, we'll speak about the sugar there. content later but do you think it is better or not it is better yes this, uh, yes so what benefit does bananas carry heart health digestive health it boosts up our energy mm -hmm. vitamin c mood regulation so in pms times we ask female people to have banana at least three uh, once in a day for the next three days so it mm -hmm. balances the mood swings during the pms times because it helps produce serotonin serotonin is what it's a mood regulating neurotransmitter 
which helps in right. soothing which helps in helping keep your uh, 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 patience keep your you know mood perfectly calm ha huh, calm okay so this sugar part is what i would like to discuss yes when eaten at the ripen stage it will definitely increase your sugar levels but if at all eaten at the right ripen state it won't increase your sugar levels so blindly guys every diabetic patient can eat banana without any second thought but maintain timings morning 11 am or evening 5 pm these are the only two times a fruit can be had ee rendu times lone పొద్దున పదకొండు ఇంటికి లేదా సాయంత్రం ఐదింటికి ఈ టైంలోనే ఫ్రూట్స్ ని తినండి ఫ్రూట్స్ తిన్నప్పుడు దాంతో పాటు ఒక వెజిటబుల్ యాడ్ చేయండి వెన్ అవర్ యూ ఈట్ అ ఫ్రూట్ యాడ్ వన్ వెజిటబుల్ టు ఇట్ సో వెన్ అవర్ యూ ఈట్ అ బనానా ట్రై టు యాడ్ వన్ క్యారెట్ ఆర్ కీ హోమ్ టు ఇట్ దిస్ విల్ ఇన్సిఫిక్ రీజన్ yes it will increase more fiber intake into your body and more fiber will definitely balance the sugar levels okay right yeah thanks doctor yeah and it is also helpful for digestive health it prevents constipation that's one fruit which prevents constipation is banana papaya okay yes next question guys we'll end in the next వర్కౌట్ చేసేవాళ్ళు మార్నింగ్ బనానా తీసుకొని వెళ్ళొచ్చు వచ్చాక బనానా తినొచ్చు అనేసి అని అంటున్నారు కదా సో అది సేమ్ లెవెన్ ఓ క్లాక్ ఉండే మార్నింగ్ అవర్స్ చేసుకోవచ్చా అలాగే బనానా any anything else guys any doubts so how is the today's session informative non informative boring what is it so the power of plate so did you get to know the power of plate so tomorrow we will discuss how much size of your plate should be for breakfast for lunch and for dinner what things needs to goes into your plate we we'll discuss more things about um the next week okay no 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 see point is um someone asked is it the same with the vegetables we keep in fridge not frozen do they retain the nutrients or we have to consume them fresh see when you get it home it's already <laughs> ఆల్రెడీ కట్ వెజిటబుల్స్ any doubts guys right so that's all for today thank you so much guys you have been very uh, wonderful today as well you have maintained the decorum of the meet always as wonderful as love you all and i don't want to take much time of your uh, weekend so spending a little bit of time with your loved ones on your weekends is very important to reduce your stress don't stay inside the four walls go out go for a stroll go for a small walk or go buy something a small so small thing which is very far come back so go for a small walks and strolls and keep your heart always healthy and keep make sure that you smile every day and you do the relaxation technique exercise whenever you start feeling stressed out deep breaths simple calm keep your uh, spine straight little bit chin up and then take deep breaths this will help you out to calm you down this will help you to reduce your stress as much as possible okay thank you guys have a nice weekend